Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. This is a quick little video where I wanted to show how you can utilize something that looks like hardware or screws in the case of this little box where I've put it on there and I really want to have kind of an industrial look. Now, traditionally I have made these little like screw heads by slipping and scoring, say a ball onto the surface and then flattening it with my thumb, then taking some sort of tool and putting the line in, whether it's like like a Phillips or a, a straight, a slotted uh, screwdriver line. But I wanted to show you a different way. The way that I actually did on this, the way that I got these all very uniform is I made some molds and bisque fired them. So I just made some clay molds of some different screws, different hardware, and I bisque fired them. Now, the way to do that is I took a hunk of clay and I pinched off a little piece and I'm smoothing the very end because I want to make sure that I don't have any sort of cracking on the end. If you do, you can maybe just wet your thumb, smooth that out to make sure that it is smooth. Now you want it to be just maybe a little bit bigger than the actual piece of hardware that you're going to press into it. and. If you just press it in as is, it's probably going to get stuck because this is not a porous object and it's just going to get stuck. That wet clay is going to get stuck in there. So the way to prevent it is if I'm just going to dust it with a little bit of cornstarch. Uh, cornstarch is just the stuff that's found in the, like the grocery. I think they call it something else in England. But corn flour maybe. Maybe that's what they call it, I don't know. Okay, so I've dusted it with a little bit of cornstarch, and then here's my screw, and then I'm just going to kind of push it in just until I've cleared, and there we go. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to let that harden up a little bit, and then I'll shave away some of the extra so it brings it more to a finer kind of an edge. So it's not a real big blunt edge. I want it to have a finer edge right around the, um, the edge of the screw. So I want to show you how I made my various molds. Um, that one was just a screw that I had that was loose in my hardware and my tool drawer. But let's walk around the room and we can see what else we can find to press. Okay, so walking up to my cabinet tree, this is one of the screws that I kind of liked because it has a nice deep uh, uh, look to it. I'm just going to go in here and press until the clay just touches. So if I show you that, it's just touching the edge. And then there we go, that's, that's a nice impression. If it gets a little bit wonky and stretches, I can always just kind of tidy that up to make sure it looks circular again. So here I've got a couple different screws on the inside of this drawer. I'm going to use the big end for the larger screw. And the nice thing about pushing it against a screw that's already uh, in place is that it's it doesn't overhang. Okay, and then for this smaller one, I'm going to push this. And that one looks good. I like these screws on my towel racks. I'm just going to push that right over it, pull it straight off, and that's a great impression. Here's one where I'm just going to take a much larger hunk of clay, kind of push that on, pull it straight, and it's pretty good. I kind of messed that up a little bit, so I need to just fix that edge. I'm going to do it one more time on the other end, see if either one comes out better. Yeah, that one actually came out a little bit better. really small screw. Okay, 
Now, once I have pressed the stamp, I do check it to make sure it's level on the top. If it's not, maybe you could tap it or you could trim it if need be. You don't want it to be bumping up on one side. And then after it is to the leather hard state, which mine is in the leather hard state, now I'm going to take my knife and carefully kind of trim away some of the excess around, oops, I don't mean to hold it out of the screen, I'm just trying to see it, okay? So I'm trying to trim away some of the excess so it brings it more toward a finer edge. So there we go, it's a finer edge. So I'm trying to go for something more like this. So when I go to press it, it will have a nice crisp edge instead of a big bulky edge. All right, so once you have your stamp trimmed, then you wanna bisque fire those stamps so they can be used. Now, using them is pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. You're going to attach some clay, so depending on how large the stamp is will depend on how big the hunk of clay will be. This one will definitely be bigger than I actually need, but when you go to attach, you want to score, okay, and then you also want to make sure that you're slipping, and then on the ball itself, I'm going to attach that, I'm going to push that down and kind of press it in. Okay, I'm going to make another slightly smaller ball for a smaller stamp. Okay, so that's a smaller one. Again, I'm going to score. I'm going to stick it onto the slip that I already have there. Okay, so once, oops, once I have them scored and slipped, then I'll take, my, and you want to be careful, you don't want to have a lot of water on this. If you do, it's going to get stuck. So then I'm going to just center my stamp, push it in, and then where the extra kind of oozed out, I can easily just scrape that off. Let's do that one. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and push it in. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do one more version of that one because I feel like that one was, maybe the ball was a little small on that. So I'm gonna score, slip. Yeah, that's got better definition there now. And then I'm just gonna take all that extra that oozed out and just gently remove that. Then I can clean around that with a small paintbrush. There we go.